Ding, 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 ding. All right, let us start. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Lie on your back and feet will go right underneath your knees. Wiggle, wiggle thy toes. Wake up the four corners of your feet. Tailbones just gently skyward to elongate the sacrum lumbar region. Uh, let's take now interlacing of the fingers behind your head. Separate your thumbs so you have a really nice support in the occipital part of your skull. Please don't yank down your head, right? Ankles together, pressing up into the balls of your feet. Ankles are right above your hip. Deepen that breath, hold your breath. Curl tailbone skyward. Head and chest come. Easy does it, first one. Easy does it, off the floor. Be skillful in the way that you round up. Hold on to that breath. Look to the navel. Hold your belly down, no breath. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Inhale, slowly we return. Curling our tailbone skyward. Exhalation, skillfully please, gently, gracefully, head and chest round, off the floor. Look to the navel, no breath. Pull that belly in as you feel for firming in your legs, activation in your feet. Inhale, slowly we round down. Hold down to that breath, curling that tailbone sky high. Exhalation, skillfully rounding, mindfully, head and shoulders off the floor. Chin in, hold on to that breath, no breath, and belly down. Invigorate the engagement of your inner legs, please. Inhalation, slowly we return now. Fingers above your shoulder, long fingers as you express, uh, feel for spreading out into the webs of your hands. Deepen that breath, hold your breath, curl tailbone skyward, exhale, arms and legs are straight, follow your ribs, head and chest off the floor, look to the navel, hold that belly down, hold, hold, hold one more for me, firming into the navel, inhale, slowly head comes down, no breath, hold breath, curl that tailbone sky high, Exhalation, all the year out. Lengthen as you round, head and chest off the floor. Look to the navel, hold the belly in. Engagement as you firm into the legs, strong footwork. Inhale, slowly return now. Deepen that breath. Curl your tailbone sky high. Exhalation, head and chest come off the floor. Navel in, chin in. Hold on to that breath, no breath, chin in, navel in. Then inhalation, rounding down slowly. Fingers in the lace behind your neck again. Bending now, right knee down. Shin comes parallel to the floor. Not completely passive. Have the shin be a parallel line to the floor. Okay, activate your left foot. Elongation in our left foot. Look at your ankle, ankle should be straight, deep breath, curl tailbone skyward, a little spin towards the right, left elbow towards your right knee, hold on to the breath, elevate that right shoulder higher, pull the right side of your belly down, no breath, inhale, slowly rounding down, to one this side, hold on to that breath, curl that tailbone sky high, Exhalation, a little spin towards your right. The end of this exhalation, hold one, hold two, hold, right side of the belly down. Inhale, slowly we return. Neutralize, hold down to that breath. Curl your tailbone sky high. Exhalation, a little twist, left elbow towards your right knee. Keep a straight leg well extended, strong footwork. Belly down, right shoulder a little higher, hold it. Inhale, slowly we return. Next exhalation, right foot going skyward. Left shin down, just halfway down. Gain control, but in that half relaxed way. Right leg is powerful, right foot is well extended. Deep breath, hold breath. Tailbone sky high, a little spin. Right elbow, left knee, hold, 
belly down, no breath, hold it. Inhale, slowly returning. Hold on to that breath, curl tailbone skyward. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Belly in, chin in, hold on to that breath, no breath. Firm into the right leg. Inhale, neutral. Hold breath, curl tailbone skyward. Right elbow, left knee. Hold at the end of the exhalation, no breath. Chin in, firm your right leg. Inhale slowly, we return. Knees will come together. Shin are still parallel. Separate your knees diagonally away from each other. Flexion of your ankle. Look at your shin, they should be rather parallel to each other. Tailbone sky high, deep breath through your nose. Hold breath, exhalation, head and chest come off the floor. Belly and chin and hold it, no breath. Hold. Inhale, releasing. Hands are straight, long fingers. Deep breath, flexion of your ankle. Tailbone skyward, exhalation, skillfully. Arms are straight, head and chest off the floor. Separate your knees, shin are well aligned. Rounding, slowly we come down. Inhale, hold breath. Curl tailbone skyward. Rounding, head chest, straight up. Towards your hands, reach high. Hold your breath, belly down. Firm it, keep the tailbone well curled up. Inhale, slowly we return. Hold breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhalation, head and chest will come off the floor. Hold, no breath. Chin in, navel down, hold it. Inhale, slowly we return. One more, deep breath. Hold, curl tailbone up. Exhale, separate your knees. Shins are aligned, check the alignment. Chin in, follow your hands. Belly down, hold it. Inhale, slowly we return. Knees will come together, legs are straight. Deepen that breath, invite your feet to come close towards you. As close as you can, hands to the base of your shin and just very gently. Use that gentle, gentle pulsation like you're going for a reverse forward folding. Finding that breath, deepen that breath. Exhalation, knees full, roll up into the torso. Once you come here, legs will be straight. Seated forward fold. Ready, here we have inhale, come in, legs straight. Exhale, release. Inhale, back, exhale, forward. On your own now. Rolling, pulling, rolling, pulling, up, up, up. Rolling, pulling, rolling, pulling, down, down, down. Rolling, pulling, rolling, pulling, in, in, in. Rolling, pulling, rolling, pulling, out, out, out. Stay here. Deep breath into that mid back. Into your lower back. Feel for opening up that space between your shoulder blades. Out edge of the shoulder blade. Breathe. Once your shoulder gets the opening, Extension through your fingertips. Chin in, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Make your exhalation a little bit lengthier. Next inhalation, full knees. Cross hold of your ankles, that will bring you down to your hands and your knees. Right, toes will tuck, inhale, arching open, exhalation, firm back into the space behind you. Ankles together, right leg first, lengthen on that inhalation, squaring up the hip, find that extension in that left hip, please. Inhale, right knee out to the side, puff up. Lower heel off the floor. Let's go internal rotation. Knee towards your forehead. 
Slowly exhale, right leg behind you. Inhale, nice round, big circle. Exhalation. Imagine the articulation comes from the right side of your sacrum. Then the hip can really optimize the beauty of its uh, circular rotation. One more, inhale from the outside in. Exhalation, lengthen back. Deepen that breath from that left hip back. Exhale, right knee in towards the forehead, puff up. External rotation, that's your inhale. Exhale, round. Slowly inhale, right knee out. External rotation. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale out to the side, squaring of the hip. Exhale, coming through. Inhale, out to the side again. Exhalation, lowering down. Knees will come down. Ribcage arching forward. Chin or your forehead towards the mouth. Lowering of the ribcage and breathe. Into the back of your shoulder. Into that lower back. Sacrum curls up, dropping the weight of your sternum down. Regulate your breath, please. Fingers are well activated, right? One more inhale. And exhalation. Hands under the shoulder, knees under the hips. Toes will tuck. Inhale, arching open. Exhalation. Press, tailbone skyward. Ankle step together. Lengthen now. Left leg back. Firming into the right hip as high as you can reach without mm, shifting your central alignment. Inhale, internal rotation, mark it. Puff up, straight leg, that's your exhalation. Firm navel in, please. Internal rotation, chin in. Legs away from the torso. Inhale, puff up. Exhale away. Again, inhale, internal rotation. Exhale. Learn to perfect your hand writing. Stay here, swing of the hip. Exhalation, left knee forward towards your forehead. Puff up. Inhale away from the body. Exhale, coming through. Inhale away from the body. Exhalation, coming through, navel in. Inhale out to the left. Exhale, coming through. Inhale away. Exhale, come through. Last one, inhale away. Exhalation, feet will be hip distance apart. Rounding of the elbows down, forearms are parallel. Chin in, deep breath into the back of your shoulder. When you exhale, narrow your elbows in and down, just ever so slightly. Learn to expand that space between your shoulder blades. Have a look at your ankles. Ankles and your feet are well intended. Bend knees slightly. And next, in, next exhalation, we glide forward. Inhale, halfway forward. And exhalation, shoulders down, forward folding, release, release, release. Inhale, bend your knees, come to that chair. Spiralic rotation in the shoulder. Midline, exhale, beginning, middle, coming to your forward fold, chin down. <clears throat> Upright spine, beginning, middle, tailbone forward. Almost a little bit of back bend. Hands now to your heart. <clears throat> right hand holds the thread, your invisible thread. Inhale. Relax, out to the right. <clears throat> Internal rotation. Knee, your foot, your hip. Returning. Let go. Inhale. Right. Stay by the core. 
Use the core to guide that leg back. Exhale. Third one, inhale. Spiralically go out. Inhale, returning. Coming into your triangle base. All right. Inhale, come to your bird wing. Exhale. Spirality open. Exhalation. Inhale. Exhale. Front toes off the floor. Back heel off the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Lubrication of your shoulder, elbows, and your wrist. Exhale. Remember this one. Inhaling back. Coming forward motion. Bend your elbows, enter now your warrior three. Back four follows the direction of your tailbone. Crowning that tailbone is in the wine alignment. Deepen that breath. Right leg, right arm on the top governs your left. Coming into your Ego. Descend that tailbone down. Eventually your forearms will be a vertical thread. Deepen that breath. Right leg opens. Come to your warrior two. Finding that breath. I'm going to turn around so you can see me. In the lacing of the fingers above you, press up into the wrist line and use your wiggle wiggle technique to elongate the lateral side of your torso. Deepen that breath, exhalation to your left side. Keep the elbows straight. Inhale, neutral. Come to the right side. Bend that lower elbow a little bit. Exhale, elbows will be straight. Deepen the breath. You have an <clears throat> external rotation of that left hip. Inhale deeply. Exhalation. Left hand by the inner foot. Right arm. Extend the warrior. This is your internal rotation. Shoulder, elbows, and your wrists. Top hands behind you. Interlock. Use your strap if you need to. Tailbone needs to go down. Rotation in that right shoulder, please. One more deep breath. Come to your pyramid. Squaring up the hand. Parallel hip. Inhale, arching halfway up. Exhalation. Favor your left side. On your way down. Chin in. Navel in, come release. Right hand stays, left hand skyward. Twisting, triangle. You got to pull that left hip back. Only look skyward if you can maintain the midline from the crown to the tailbone. Keep engaging in that left hip, please. Deepen that breath, top hand behind you. Right hand, skyward, extend the triangle. It's a wrist to wrist alignment. Now we favor the right side. Only look up if that feels okay for the neck. Find connection, top hand to the waistline. Bend that front knee slightly. Left hand out to the side. Half moon. Cool now your back foot. Nice and strong. Stay or hand to your back ankle. Outer edge. If that is so, pull that foot further away from the shoulder. Inhale deeply. Passing by your warrior three, strong back foot. Right hand down, left hand skyward. Twisting half moon. When you're ready, inner ankle. 
hand to foot. If that is so, power up that back foot. Breathe into the left side of your shoulder, right side of your hip flexor. Deep in breath. Exhalation, descend, right leg underneath your left. Right arm up, reversing of your elbows, interlock. Use your strap if you need to. Inhale, perk up into the right shoulder, right elbow. Exhalation, lean back slightly. Your left foot needs to ground. Deepen that breath. See if you can go into the space behind you even a little more. Next exhalation, we release. Left hand away from the shoulder, external rotation. Right hand in front of that left shin. Close hold of your first two fingers. We look for the left elbow. Look for the left ear. Option one, we stay here. Working on spiralically in twist and turn. Walk the left hand back maybe. Interlock people, your right arm goes through underneath your right leg. Fingers together when you're ready. Look for that left elbow. Slow down the breath. Inhale, you learn to surge up. Exhalation, you release the spine. You twist and turn. The whole left side of the ribcage becomes well opened. Right side is steady, right side is grounded. Your right elbow is by the outer edge of your front knee, right? Exhalation, come to your twisting scissor. Elbows supporting outer knee and outer hip. Palms are parallel. Ready, head to the floor first. Otherwise, one leg at a time. Pull that back foot, that's your warrior's three leg. Tailbone away from the crown. Back foot away from the crown. Deepen that breath. Close your body back to exactly where we came from. Your left foot is down. Hands either side of the front foot. Right leg behind you. Exhalation. Chin in. Your back foot needs to work as strongly as your lower foot. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, puff up, lower heel off the floor, knee towards the forehead. Slowly inhale, beginning, middle. Ending of that breath. Look forward and up. Exhale, round. Beginning of your breath, middle of your breath, no rush. Lower heel on or off the floor. Knee towards the forehead. Third set, beginning, no rush, middle. Ending of your breath. Think about it every step of the way. Straight leg, keep it as straight as you can. Feet will be hip distance apart. Right arm first, inhale, beginning, middle, ending. Standing back bend, your first one, go easy on the body. Firm into the legs first, favor your left side, look for your left hand. Inhale, left, exhale, right. Look straight ahead. Look into the future. Left. Inhale. 
Look far and deep. Exhale. Feel the gaze looking back into the unknown. Favor your right side. Firm into the legs. Inhale. Mindfully. Exhalation. You see, it's all in the breathing articulation. Right. Inhale. Descend your roots down. Firm into the inner thigh. Firm into the glutes. Firm into the pelvic floor. Look straight back. Almost like you're looking for the crown. Firm your way up. Exhale. Feel the breath. Let the breath guide you. Wait for the breath. Inhale left. Firm from the bottom up. Your pelvic floor needs to be firm up before you deliver your back bend. Look to the crown. Firm from the bottom up. Exhale. Hands together, feet together. You come back to your first base. Left hand, <clears throat> inhale, exhale away, internal rotation, coming back, hover on your way down, navel seals, navel seals, navel weights, internal rotation, coming back, exhale, descend, firm by the midline, Midline is going to wait for you. Returning, coming back. This is your inhale. Left foot descends, wings out to the side. Come to your bird wings, exhale, round. Internal rotation, everything comes inside. Back heel off the floor. External rotation, perk up, become really, really proud through the sternum. Front toes off the floor, exhale. Inhale, please lubricate your shoulders. Compensate all that shoulder work that you've been working on today. Exhale, inhale, sky, exhale, earth. Inhale, within you, away from the body. Exhale, goodness is above me on my right, on my left. Goodness is beneath and within me. Goodness is behind me. Goodness is within me. Inhale, now we transition now. Internal rotation. Internal rotation. External rotation, warrior three. Stabilize your midline, stabilize the breath before we wrap. Left side is the active side this time. Come to your ego. Awareness of the heart, behind the heart, above your heart, beneath the heart, right, left side of the heart. From the center of your heart, you deliver that warrior essence. Lengthen. Interlacing of the fingers. Turn the palms skyward. Use your wiggle wiggle thing. Your technique to elongate the rib cage a little more. Keep the elbows straight, right? Firm into the back leg, neutral. Firm into your inner legs. Bend your lower elbow a bit to descend. And then firm your elbows away. External rotation in that right hip. Breathe into the whole right side of the torso, please. Now 
Make your exhalation a little lengthy. I know it's hard, but try it. Uh, work on it. Okay. Releasing of your fingers. Right hand by the inner foot. Internal rotation. Extend the warrior. Keep your back leg well and tender, please. Top hand behind you. Interlace or take a strap. Rotation in the left shoulder. Deepen that breath. Squaring of your hip. Pyramid. Hip alignment, please. Halfway up. Clicking that right hip back before you descend into that forward fold. Torso towards your front shin. Need to surrender now. Always uh, in that very micro movement, adjust yourself to perfection in your alignment awareness. Keep your left hand where it is, right hand skyward. Twisting triangle. Only look up if that's okay for the neck. Your right hip is the dominant one. Breathe into the right side. Core engagement, please, as you transition. Right finger down, left hand skyward. Extend the triangle. Wrist to wrist alignment, crown to tailbone alignment. Seal the center in. Now your left hip is the dominant one. Be really proud in the opening of your solar plexus and your sternum. Make that exhalation slow, slow and complete, please. Top hand gently towards your left hip. Then that front knee, transition right hand out, left foot skyward, left hand skyward, Extended half moon here. Some of you reach for your outer foot. That means foot needs to be strong. Activate the back foot. Like you're pulling the bow of your, the string of your bow there. Solar plexus and your heart are wide open. Keep activating that back foot, doesn't matter where you are. Back knee needs to be strong so you can transition easily. Passing through your warrior three. Squaring of your hip, left hand down. Pull that right hip back as you reach, right hand skyward. Hand to foot people, look for your inner ankle. Once you connect, activate the footwork. Find breath again, please. One more inhale. Tuck it, left leg under. Left arm, uh, catch hold this front foot closer towards you. Left hand skyward. Right hand reverses. In the lace or catch hold of your strap. Activate your left elbow, please. Lean back a little bit. Try to aim that left elbow away from the top knee. You are almost surging into a slight back bend there. 
So this is your t completely your TLG articulation, by the way. One more deep breath. Right hand spins away from the navel. Left elbow in front of the top knee. Walk your right hand back. Look for the right ear. Find a way to spiralically breathe in that spiralic way. Okay. Option one, stay. Twist, uh, binding people, left arm underneath that leg. Connection to your fingers, your wrist, or your strap. You are more on your left hip. Look for the right ear, please. Look far, so that you're working on stretching the muscles of your eyes as well. Deep breath. Make that exhalation a little slower. Inhale, you do surge high into the crown. Exhale, spiralically descend your tailbone downward. One more deep breath. Navel seals. Exhalation. Transition now. Elbow supporting your outer knee, outer hip. Right? Head to the floor in, in, your, in supporting you. Or one foot at a time, the other foot off the floor. Look straight ahead if you're off the floor. Deepen that breath. These are your warrior three legs. Close exactly how you came into it. Your right foot is down, hands either side of the front foot, vertical extension. Inhale, halfway forward, look up. Adjust your hip alignment before we continue. Exhale, knee towards the forehead. Lower heel off the floor, puff up. Left leg, inhale. So very slowly, wait for the breath. Look forward and up. Exhale, round, come into the space within you. Check your lower ankle alignment, please. Same leg, open, inhale. Exhale, check your lower ankle alignment. Same leg, inhale, lengthen. Keep the leg really straight on your way down. Hip distance apart. Okay, double full circle here. Inhale right, exhale left. Inhale right again. Slow down. Look into the space behind you. Turn from the bottom up, inhale. Midline has been waiting for you. Look straight ahead. See what's coming. Left. Right. Inhale, left. Exhale, beginning. Middle. Ending of your breath. Inhale right. Exhale left. One more on each side. Inhale right. 
exhale left inhale right exhale left inhale left exhale right feel the root energy that you're cultivating inhale left exhale right inhale left exhale right Inhale left, sorry, right. Exhale right. Horizontal inhale. I'm gonna bring you back to your bird wing. Exhale. Check your knee alignment. Your knee should not pass by your toes. That means core engagement. Ready, inhale. Dive, exhale. Your knee should not go before your knees your toes otherwise just come halfway down until you get your core really well articulated otherwise you're overextending your kneecaps few sets inhale exhale inhale exhale be really proud exhale inhale exhale speed it up a little bit inhale yes it's all in the legs all in the core two more Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, pump from the bottom of your feet, descend now. Elbows by your inner legs, palms together. Use the extension of your elbow to walk your feet a little wider. Tailbone descends downward. Perk up into the crown and breathe into the back of your heart. Back of your heart and the back of your sacred not mirror image. See if we can include these two stations. Toes are well extended. Check the alignment of your ankles, please. Without training your feet awareness, ankle alignment awareness, the practice can go so far. Use the breath to power up your solar plexus here a little more. Sunday practice, nurture that in the sun. Use a little pulsation if you're not used to it. Okay, deepen that breath. Exhale, hands are shoulder width. Ankle steps together. Descend that tailbone down. Sink first. Crawl down as close to the earth as you can. Elbow, your armpit are right close to the knee, as high up as you can get them to be. Heels of the feet off the floor. Your wrist alignment, please. Drop your tailbone down, please. Stay here. Crawl, people. Toes off the floor. Keep your tailbone down. Stay. Headstand people, crown comes down. One leg or two legs together. Vertical extension. Now, elbow alignment, please. Check your elbow, please. Headstand people, straddle. From your straddle, Ankles together, back to where we came from. Come to your seat, perk up to the sternum, come to your boat. Deepen that breath. Exhalation, fold that right knee in. Let's reverse the opening so your 
legs are in a 90 degree ankle. If this is too much, foot in front of your right foot in front of your left thigh. Otherwise, walk this foot back behind you. Top of your foot is on the floor. Adjust your hips so that your hip are well aligned to each other. Circle, inhale. Right wrist is on the top. Interlacing of the fingers. Inhale, lengthen into the wrist. Wiggle, wiggle yourself into a little bit of back bend, please. Deepen that breath. Exhale, slowly. Gauge the midline alignment. Keep the wrist cross. Open up your hands. Either side of the front foot. Your right wrist is on the top. Halfway up. Elbow out to the side. That means fan the shoulder blades open. Chin in. Forward fold. Keep the elbows well intended. So the back of your shoulder, meaning the back of your heart, is wide open and breathe there. Next inhalation, fold that front knee close towards you. Exhale, just work on your best. Left foot skyward. Press your elbows out, close the distance between the torso and your front leg. Surrendering time, meditation time, ding, 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 ding. You're doing a vertical forward bend. Next inhalation, perk up to the sternum. Look beyond your toes. Activate your foot, please. Exhale. Now your right knee in. Left foot onto the top of your right hip. Okay. If this is too much, put this foot lower down a little bit. Otherwise, your knee needs to narrow a little bit closer in your half lotus. Left arm behind you. Grab hold of your clothing. Some of you take hold of the foot. Fingers are down. Fingers away from the shoulder or reverse your wrist. You've been working on this beautiful thing for a while. Lean your turn, turn, turn. Look for your left ear. First, favor the left side. Opening up the front gate of that left shoulder. As far as you can spin, keep the spinning. Chin turns down. Looking down towards the lower knee. That you get to, you're like you're looking for the right foot. Double spiral. Like you're gazing down from high, high above. And there you see mountains and rivers, trees and flowers, villages of people, children playing, anyone to go there. Even though you're so high above, but you want to go there. When you close your eyes, see that image within your heart. Then slowly, slowly, you look with your heart. You look and you feel with your heart. And you know within your heart, you have decided to come down, you've decided to come here. And when you come to that place, 
The feeling of your practice is entirely different. Your pose will look entirely different. The vibration that you carry within you will also become different. It's not something you can see in the mirror, but it's something that everyone else can see. Everyone else can feel around you. So to me, this is the true yoga. When you come to that place, where you see not with your eyes, but with your heart, and you know you can discern from there, and you make decisions from there. Okay, so where were you? <laughs> Exhalation, we release. Easy does it. Unfold as we come back to this place again. Back to the struggle. Deepen that breath. Exhalation, fall now. Coming down, left leg back. Reverse, open hip, 90 degree opening. Or take a modification, please. Adjust your hips so you're facing forward, your hips are square. Inhale, like you have wings. Left wrist is on the top. Interlacing of the fingers. Slight wiggle wiggle. Make a very secretive wiggle wiggle. Almost like you're extending into a little back bend, please. Front toes is activated, front ankle is square. Lengthen as high as you can before you come. Keep the elbow, keep the body straight. Like you're carrying that back bend before you enter into a forward fold. Open up the fingers, either side of the front foot. Inhale, from the elbows in, halfway up. Exhale, press the elbows out. Exhale, chin in. Use a little pulsatory motion if you need. Or you can bend that front knee slightly. Or you wiggle wiggle yourself forward. Deep breath into the back of your heart. Into the back of your sacrum. Firm navel in as you exhale. Halfway up, inhale. Bend our front knee with it. Exhale. Inhale away from the body. Exhale, bend your elbows, close the distance between the leg and the torso. Surrender time. Forward fold should feel like you're coming home. Footwork, your upper foot. Legs are like the second spine. Work with it. Next exhalation, curled up, look for the upper foot. It's pointing up towards the sky. Exhalation, bring that left knee in, bend the right knee out, external rotation. External rotation, invite this foot to come to the top of your left hip, right into the corner. Take a modification if you need to. Knees should be relatively close to one another. Left hand swings behind you. clothing or your foot. Fingers direction forward or reverse the wrist, direction down. <clears throat> turn, turn, turn towards your right shoulder. Look for the right ear. 
you have tension in the right side of your neck, your right hand, the people, this is the time to breathe into it. Talk to it like you're massaging the whole right side. Keep opening that right shoulder back. Look for the right ear. Now you absolutely cannot look further anymore. Stay there as your chin turns down, down, down towards your left knee. Better yet, towards the lower foot. You're in a closed circuit because of your bind back there. Right side is spinning away. Left side is spinning downward. Half of you belongs to the unknown. Half of you belongs to what you involve yourself in. Try to occupy these two realms always. And this is the true balance that we speak about in yoga. Be completely devoted to expanding the part of you that is unknown to you. And part of you, half of you, is completely devoted to the part of you that you choose to claim, you choose to get involved with. You should occupy these two worlds. One is your intuition, one is your logic. They should be half and half you give yourself to. Okay, let's call upon that image again. Imagine you're looking up from above the clouds. And down there you see a world of colors, music, laughter, and beauty. And it's enticing you. You see the faces of your parents. You see the faces of your friends, your community, and you want to go there. Your focus attention is completely half and half right now. Half on the right, half on the left. Half of you is completely humble and earthy. Half of you know you're powerful beyond imagination. Occupy these two realms, and that is yoga. One more deep breath in your heart. Exhalation, release. Legs will be straight. Shake, shake, shake. Give a little neutralization. A little back bend as you perk up. First two fingers around your big toes. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, separate your elbows, forward fold in, chin in. Inhale, bend your knees towards you. Elbows out, legs straight. Lean your head back if you can. Toes are powerful. Elbows out to the side. Deepen that breath. When you release your fingers, come into your that roly poly thing again. Exhale forward. Inhale, back. You have your roly poly, roly poly, in, in, in. Roly poly, roly poly, up, out, out. Roly poly, poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, poly, down, down, down. Interlacing of your fingers, elbows in. 
hands behind your back, elbows in, legs together, shoulders down. Chin towards your sternum and breathe there. Right leg towards you. Find the floor behind you if you can. Left leg is nice and straight. Right foot halfway up. Left foot behind you. Like you're doing a ver uh, reverse split here. Footwork, ankle awareness. Bend that left knee. Find the ground beneath you. Settle down. Right foot skyward. Adjust the foot so it's in a vertical thread. Breathe into the rib cage, not your belly. Use the upper foot to guide you up to your shoulder stand. That's your exhalation. Left foot towards your the floor behind you. Right leg is straight. Both feet are working equally as you peel now. Left foot halfway up. Right leg behind you, like you're going for a split. This is a good station to work on your split, by the way. Bend that right knee, hip alignment, so you find the ankle alignment, hug the right knee in, left leg above you. Breathe into the sternum. Pull up through the left foot. Exhale, bend both knees down, feet down. Stay and breathe. Find the feet alignment, please. Wheel people, hands towards the base of your shoulder. Chin in, wheel people, crown to the ground first. Wheel people, when you're ready, we come up. Look between your hands. Deep breath. Feet alignment. Elbow alignment on your way down. Chin in. Be skillful in the way that you release your body down. Okay. Left leg straight. Right knee in, left hand to the outer edge of the right foot. Right hand out to the side. Exhale, left leg is straight. Spinal twist, exhalation. Look for the right hand. The articulation of your tailbone is important. If you're ready, grab hold of your left ankle from the inner edge. Push that back foot away from the shoulder. You're still turning towards your right side. Deep breath. Release your right hand first. Keep the right leg straight on your way back. Shake out that right leg really well. Shake, 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 shake. Pressing into the right ankle. Keep the leg well extended on your way down. Left knee folds. Right hand to the left foot, outer edge. Straight up first, that's your exhalation. Turn, spinal twist. Left hand out to the side. 
Look for the left hand or bend the lower knee. Activate the foot. If that is so, use the foot to from your left hand away from the shoulder. Turn towards your left side. Your, both of your feet are actually quite proactive right now. One more deep breath. Release the lower foot first. Return the left leg up. Okay. Go and shake out the upper foot. Gently bend your knees. Curl that tailbone just halfway up. Almost like a falling leaf, oscillatory motion. Figure eight if you need to, to rebalance, harmonize all the hip work that we just worked on, all the spinal work that you just had. Some of you, circular motion works a little better. Right? Tailbone skyward, elongation in the sacrum before you release. Shoulder blades under, nice and flat, both of them. Elbows in slightly, turn the palms out. Chin in. Okay, without engagement of your physical body, right? Nice close, inhale through your nose. See if you can induce tension without squeezing your fingers and your fist, your fists and your toes. Like a mental tightness, see if you can produce that. Exhale, let go. Inhale, not the physical body, tension on the mental body, in your energy body, tension, tension, tension. Learn to articulate your inner sheath. Exhale, let go. One more, inhale through your nose. It's an invisible tension, create that without the physical body. Feel what that is like. Very ten tense. Exhale, release. First layer, let go, is your physical sheath. The layers of your skin, the layers of your muscle, your tendons, your fascia, your tissues, your ligaments, your bones, your organs. Relax your jaw. Your next layer, your feeling body, your emotional body, let go. Completely detached now. Use your yoga practice to do these things. Get better at letting go of your emotions. Completely detached now. Like you're learning to refresh the, your system. Third layer, your mental body. Let go of all the preconceived notion, your ideas, your thinking mind, your thoughts. Empty them. Delete them. If you can do this successfully, you can totally feel how these different sheaths of kosha dominates and give orders to the physical body, not the other way around. Let go of your any focus attention, completely let go. You feel so light, like you're back on the clouds again. Feel the warmth, the temperature of your body, 
almost like you can absorb the very subtle vibratory notion that hovers above your physical body. Feel the weight of your own physical body. Let the intrinsic self, something in you that will never change, something in you that you came with, even before you were born. Remembrance, sense of remembrance of that. Really the main preoccupation of your spiritual practice. And then you learn to breathe from that space. You learn to navigate and reconnect to a sense of meaning from that space. So allow yourself some time and some quiet space to contemplate about what you get out of the practice. I wish this was longer, but Spend a little time until we meet again. Hey, Jenny, fingers in your toe awareness. Use a deep breath to reawake every inch of your skin, all the cells of your body, like you're drinking light again for the first time. Knees towards you. Gently, gently vibratory pulsation. Stimulation of the spinal fluid, sacrum first, before you return back to your seat. Okay, however you come to your seat, two corners of your seat are well balanced. Long fingers, inhale, go into the space behind you, and exhalation, returning. Three circles, symbolically, we remember again. Remembrance of that which is good, keep us high in spirit. You solidify that height in your spirit. Remembrance of that which is beautiful. It's the salvation of mortal men. You take that beauty and a shaft of awareness. Let that beauty fulfill you. Remembrance of that which is dear will be happiness if it remains alive. A remembrance of the one. What is it? The one is still the best thing I know. So I hope the practice guides you to that deep remembrance. Take a moment to acknowledge the depth within your heart, the journey of our practice together, and there, I sent you out into the world. You did it, everyone. Thank you for your wonderful focus attention. Always love you to be together. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, happy holiday. We'll see each other next Sunday, Christmas Day. We'll have a celebrated practice together. Have a wonderful Sunday. I'll be here if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you soon. I'll see you Tuesday.